Hello everybody, this is Mr. Nickel, and I'm going to talk to you about making some stop motion using iMovie HD and using iPhoto. So what most of you have done is you've either used an external camera or you've taken a picture, a sequence of pictures of yourself using the photo booth camera as you can see built in to this here. So you've taken all your pictures, you've done all that, and now you have hundreds and hundreds of pictures. Well first thing you should do once you have all of your pictures here is you should probably go into your main and then go into your pictures folder and inside you're gonna see the photo booth folder. I'm just gonna zoom in on that right now and inside there that's where all of your pictures go so if you're ever looking for your photo booth pictures they are there so what you should do is cut a new folder call it stop motion with your name and then take all of your pictures from the photo booth folder and put it into your own folder okay just like that once you have all your pictures in there the next step to this is to open up iPhoto. So here's iPhoto. I'm just going to close that window. And here is my stop motion folder. Well, a really easy thing to do if it's already named with all of your stop motion pictures is to just literally drag it in and it will create a new album in the bottom of this list here. Okay, it might have a couple, those are movie files, so they won't go in. So that's great. What's your next step? Well, you quit iPhoto, Command Q, quit Photo Booth, Command Q, and then go open up iMovie HD. Create a new project. Make sure you're saving it in some place where you know you can retrieve it easily. I'm going to put mine actually probably into the Movies folder. And then I'm going to create it. So here's your iMovie HD interface. Pretty simple. Most people already have used it. This is your clips area here. This is where you can view your product. What's the nice thing about iMovie and all the products in the Mac is that they're interconnected. So I can actually go into media, click on photos, and I can find my folder where all of my pictures were. Well, I'm going to actually grab pictures of some students here who've already done that. They've already taken hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of photos as you can see here. So here's the secret in iMovie HD. Click on your first photo and I'm just going to overlay this. And I'm going to zoom in. Okay, You're going to get the Ken Burns effect settings. You do not want to have Ken Burns effect checked off because then you're going to get movement on your photo. You don't want that. So make sure that is deselected and use the zoom tool at the top to adjust just so your pictures your pick your first picture is there's no black around it. What you want to do for good stop motion is somewhere between three and five frames for your pictures to show up. So I'm going to zoom in again and here I'm going to use the slider and I'm going to adjust it. That's one, one second, there's two seconds, and seven frames. Okay, 29.97 frames per second in film. So if you take it down to three, or if you want to change it, you can actually change it to quite easily. Just click in there. You can change it to five. I usually leave it at three. I'm going to zoom out again and leave it at three. So I'm just going to close that for one moment. So I'm going to click on it again and I'm going to change that to let's say three. Let's go five. Now before you hit apply, I know a lot of you are going to hit apply, here's the secret to saving you a ton of time. On your keyboard press command A. You see all of your photos there are now selected in your list. Click apply and that will import and apply the same amount of frame 